All right, on that note, I'm gonna share with you um, some wonderful plants um, that are gonna look familiar from a couple shows ago from our Australia uh, show, and some California natives too. These are all very water-wise plants. And on our signs here at the nursery, we actually have like a little watering can with a slash through it. That means it's not a real thirsty plant. This beautiful purple vine is called Hardenbergia, or Happy Wanderer. It is a plant that absolutely hates wet soil, um, and it'll just give up if it stays too wet. And it loves a really, really hot spot. And we call it the royal um, cloak of winter. It has this beautiful, beautiful color. Now it truly is just kind of this February time frame when it blooms, but it's a wonderful evergreen. Leucodendrons we've talked about over the last few months. They have these beautiful uh, little tiny flowers with the colored uh, bracts or leaves that give them the appearance of a flower. Uh, another wonderful Australian plant that um, is very water wise. Back here we have um, a heavily budded, almost ready to bloom, California uh, native. It's a Ceanothus. It has um, absolutely beautiful cobalt blue flowers that cover these little evergreen stems in spring. And uh, it really is an amazing one. This particular variety is called Dark Star. It will get uh, four to five feet wide and, and wider than that. Um, and again, hot, hot sun loving. This is a California na native called Bush Anemone or Carpenteria. And um, it is, produces beautiful white flowers with a yellow center in spring. And it's just stunning, wonderful. Down here, all, this represents all the salvias. Salvias are extremely water-wise and wonderful blooming plants. This is um, Winifred Gilman. And we have some erisimums here um, that are just really hardy. They love cold and dry. Um, in the 1990 freeze, these bloomed right through that 12 degree weather, if you can imagine. But again, it's not a real thirsty plant. Nandina, a wonderful, solid state, tough, low water need plant. This darling little grevillea down here, this one's called Coastal Gem. Hummingbirds love this. They absolutely love this one. We have something called buckwheat. This is a cal native down here. And this is a California native ground cover manzanita, as is this one. So it has a very different character, you see. This is a toyon, which is a very big shrub or small tree with beautiful red berries at Christmas time. And um, as you'll remember from the program where we talked a lot about the Australian plants, kangaroo paws, another really great plant for low water need gardens.